new muslin backdrops I just got. Oh, goodie for my photo shoot. Yeah. Oh, this like red em? is definitely my power color. This is great. Mm, and you know, I was thinking about black for myself. What do you think? Hmm, black on black. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do black on black. Mm, I think I've heard black on black before, yeah. Mm, I don't know, but this blue, I know this would look beautiful with my eyes. Does it bring out the color? It definitely brings out the color. You know, these are really neat. I got a whole bunch of muslins, and I got some new paper backdrops. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure which one we should use for your shoot, though, you know? Right, we have so much to choose from. I think we need some advice from Lisa Ann. Mm, let's consult the experts on this one. All right. Choosing a backdrop. There is a plethora of choices out there in the market today. So when choosing your background, you need to consider what your primary use is for that investment. Your basic backgrounds will be used the most. Browns and blues are great colors for standard portraits. These two colors blend with most people's homes and clothing. These colors also allow people to be the primary focus. Muslins are a fun addition to your inventory because they can be used for many different people and settings. Muslins in solid or patterned colors give you great choices. Reds are regal, oranges are vibrant, yellows are stunning, and having various backgrounds enables you to photograph the same subject with many different looks. Another advantage to muslins is that they can be hung straight or draped to make interesting textures. Specialty backgrounds like masterpiece canvas, or painted canvas backdrops are great for formal photos, prom setups, and high-end children's portraiture. Now, the next thing that you need to consider is when you're choosing the sizes. If you want the most flexibility out of your background to shoot from a tight headshot to a full-length image, your minimum size is 10 by 12. But a solid 10 by 20 or 12 by 24 gives you so much more range. For headshots, a 10 by 10 backdrop will work. And pop-up backgrounds are great for traveling photographers who do on-location press portraits. Talking about on-location press portraits and on-location photo shoots, you do have transportation issues. When choosing a background, select a backdrop that travels well, one that will pop up or can be used wrinkled, or one that can be stretched smooth with clips. Having the right stands and poles that give you the height, width, and speed of assembly and ease of packing is essential when traveling. Paper backgrounds are fantastic for children, pets, and fashion because of the color choices and the style in which they photograph. They are also wise because they can be cut off when soiled and are extremely cost effective. You know, I'm so happy, Amber, that we invested in all these muslins and all the proper gear. We got the clamps, the stands. We're all set to go. You know, Patrick, I think with this much selection, you could make me look good in just about anything. Just about.